And once again, we have another violent, out of control fan at an NBA game, and they are Caucasian. Go figure. This is Raw Status TV. Hit that thumbs up. So, Chris Paul, mother, daughter, and father. They keep on leaving his father out of this story. His father was also there. They do that a lot with NBA players. They want to act like it's just their mother, the single mother trope thing. So that's the picture of the, the little white kid. And once again, it is a Caucasian. I'll take your Okay, so we see the possible lack of sanity. So this is a pattern. We are seeing Caucasians coming to NBA games and acting violent towards the players and or the players' families. Hit that thumbs up. So there's been some chatter about this and that. They're trying to infantilize this person. They're referring to him as a kid. You're going to be hearing that coming from the white members of the media. Well, the kid, the kid, a lot of tattoos on this guy. We should check whether or not those are white supremacist tattoos. But don't forget about since basically the mid 90s, the jealousy, the envy and the negativity that surrounds NBA players with high contracts. These possible white supremacists are jealous of the money that these NBA players make and the talent, the God given talent that they have that no white man has or ever will have, no matter how many rules that you change. And that's not any knock or shade towards anybody that is white, but there is a reason why NBA players are hated amongst a large portion of white America. Hit that thumbs up, Ross Status TV. So again, we've seen incidents with Russell Westbrook, Kyrie Irving, Trey Young. We can go down the list. Unruly fans are not uncommon. But what is uncommon is racial targeting of athletes at games. And the sports media will not call it that. If Chris Paul were Jeremy Lin, they'd be calling this a hate crime, an Asian hate crime. But I think it's time to ask, are these players being targeted? Because it's always the same demograph, the same demographic that is perpetrating these assaults and these uh, crimes of harassment. Hit that thumbs up. So we saw in that frame, Chris Paul comes into picture to protect his family. So I don't know, better, better security, better this and that. NBA players, is there a heightened risk now at having your family in the audience? Should they be in a more secure location or more security around them? Hit that thumbs up, Ross status. But make no mistake about it, the blame lies squarely on the shoulders of this so-called fan and perhaps the NBA. Maybe the NBA should do more to protect the players and the players' families. I don't know what the answer is. Again, there are skyboxes and other ways to secure your loved ones, but that is in no way placing the blame on Chris Paul. Um You hope that you don't see any escalation in violence against these athletes. But unfortunately, with the world of social media and the revived white supremacist movement in this country, although they'll call it something else. Perhaps more security measures are needed again. Maybe like hockey, plexiglass up around the players, around the bench. I don't know how that would work. Maybe that would stop some of the injuries that happens when players dive out of bounds and run in, into cameras and knees and shoes and things like that. Hit that thumbs up. 
Raw Status TV. But just watch how the media will try to downplay this person. They'll call him a kid or a young person. And they're going to tiptoe around the obvious racial targeting that's going on with these white fans that are harassing these NBA players. Let me know what you think. Raw status.